You may have watched South Korea's Netflix hit Money Heist Korea, which even had two seasons. Money Heist Korea seems like a typical Korean drama, far away from reality. But unlike the TV show, I will show you today the Money Heist of Korea in real life. Hi, this is History Recaps, and this is the story of Money Heist of Korea, with a bullet from 1945, an officer who was desperate enough to do the insane and the fake money heist. And if you don't know, now you know. Seoul, 13 January 1995. Just a regular Monday in Seoul, Mr. Lee said goodbye to his family as on any other day. He left work to the Kukmin Bank in Seoul. It was a cold day at this time and customers were wearing thick coats and jackets. But suddenly a man entered the bank wearing a big coat. But first, nobody realized what he had under his coat when he suddenly opened his coat and revealed his K2 automatic rifle and a bayonet. Suddenly the whole bank became quiet and everybody was in shock. One teller hid immediately under the desk. The armed man screamed at the other teller to hurry up and fill up his bag. On Mondays, Korean banks usually don't store a lot of money in the bank and the bag was just filled with $12,000. The armed man screamed at the teller why she didn't have more money. But the teller told him that she gave him everything they got. Mr. Lee, the security guard, who didn't want things to escalate, waited in the hope that the man leaves the bank with the little amount of money to attack him outside. The man, angry but also in stress, screamed while carefully stepping out of the door. As suddenly Mr. Lee attacked him from the side, he disarmed him and threw him to the ground. Another employee came to help and both pushed the robber to the ground. The police arrived shortly after and were surprised how a security guard unarmed the man with a K2 rifle. But the biggest surprise was that the 24-year-old man was a Korean military officer. Ha gi tried to rob the bank in a desperate bid to pay off gambling debts of 60,000 US dollars. An embarrassed South Korean government and military have apologized to the people after that incident. The Bullet April 20, 2017, Gyeongsang, South Korea on Thursday, around 12 p.m., a man walked into the branch of the Nongyeop Bank in Gyeongsang, wearing hiking clothes, a hat, and a face fully covered by an outdoor mask. There were no customers at the stay. He pointed the gun at three employees, two female and one male, and commanded one of the women to start bagging banknotes into a bag he threw at her. After the employee had bagged some cash, Kim tried to move to her side of the counter. When the male employee tried to stop him, Kim fired a shot. The bullet ended up embedded in a computer server in the corner of the office. Kim rounded up the three employees and locked them in a vault. He took $12,000 and left the bank. The whole robbery took 5 minutes. Footage from the black box near the bank showed Kim riding away on a bike. As he was wearing gloves, Kim did not leave any fingerprints at the bank. After the employees told the police the armed robber had poor pronunciation of Korean words, they had initially suspected that a foreigner, possibly a worker at a factory, could have committed the robbery. In the end, Kim's bike led to his arrest. Kim rode away on the bike. Two miles away from the bank, he moved the bike onto a pickup truck. He did not cover the bike and the police spotted the bike while scanning CCTV footage. Police tracked Kim down at the parking lot of a resort in Danyang on Saturday, where he was spending time with his family. Authorities recovered $10,000 of the stolen $12,000. They couldn't find out where Kim had spent the rest of the money. He told the police he did it because he had too much debt. Kim said he had thrown away the pistol he used in the robbery. Authorities found it a half mile away from his house, located only 4 miles from the bank branch. They also recovered 11 bullets. Kim told the police that he had disposed all bullets and authorities were looking for the remaining 7. The gun that Kim used was a 45 caliber pistol. Authorities sent the pistol to the National Forensic Service to be inspected. But the weird thing was that one of the bullets that Kim fired in the bank was manufactured in the United States in 1945. Kim told the police that he received the weapon from an American soldier who died during the Korean War. But Kim was not old enough to have ever met a soldier who died in the Korean War. Where the bullet is actually from might stay forever a secret. The fake money heist. A quite strange incident happened at a bank in South Korea. A man walked in a bank, holding a knife in his hand and pointed the weapon at one staff member. The staff was shocked at the first moment. 
but the man with the knife made no demands. The employee was baffled and didn't know what to do. The man just stood there, calmly, and asked very polite the members to just call the police. But something else was strange. The knife did not look like a real knife. In fact, it was a toy weapon. Police were called and detained the suspect. It all happened within four minutes. The man also made absolutely no efforts to resist the arrest. But it turned out that he was only staging a robbery with a toy knife in a bank near Seoul and he had no intention of carrying out a money heist. The reason this 40 year old man faked the money heist is that he wanted to get arrested so that he could receive medical treatment in prison. But he confessed to his plan to the police in Daejeon, which means that the police only charged him with intimidation and not robbery. He did not receive the punishment he was hoping for to be sent to prison. The police later confirmed that the unemployed man who lives with his mother had admitted to having no intention to rob the bank. He just wanted to be arrested and sent to prison as he was suffering from chronic back pain and couldn't afford the treatment. He came up with the idea of a robbery. Unemployment in South Korea has increased since 2017. The South Korean government has announced its plan to provide assured health insurance to each of its citizens from 2022. So not all bank heists must be full of action or even have to be a real bank heist in Korea. And if you want to know more about the cursed district in Seoul, South Korea, watch this video. Or if you want to know how pizza changed the Yakuza forever, watch this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the bell.